like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 79 is a fill in the blank question and you've got three functions and then three words that you gotta fill into these two blanks to make the statement true. So there's a lot of, you gotta know kind of a lot of stuff here to, to, to be able to answer this one. Uh, the first thing you need to know is you need to have an idea of what these graphs look like. You don't need to necessarily know exactly what the graphs look like, but at least know what their parent functions look like. In other words, in general, what does an absolute value function look like? What does a quadratic function look like? What does a logarithmic function look like? And even if your graph isn't, you know, point by point accurate, um, just having a, a general understanding of what the graph looks like is going to help us answer this question. Now on top of that, you also need to know what these terms mean, increasing, decreasing, or constant. So we'll talk about that as well. So first, let me just give you a good idea of what these graphs are going to look like. f of x equals absolute value of x plus 8. You, the plus 8, um, while that does change the graph a little bit, it's not going to change the overall shape of the graph. Whenever you have an absolute value function, and it's just x inside, um, let's assume there's no x squared or anything like that going on inside, um, it's just going to be the graph of a v. So this is like, this right here would be like what absolute value of x looks like. Uh, the plus 8 just, all that does is shift the graph up 8 units. That plus 8 is not going to affect how we answer this question. Um, but essentially, this is what the graph looks like. Um, the second one, the squared, uh, uh, the x squared graph is a quadratic function. And quadratic functions, when you graph those, they take the shape of something called a parabola, which is just... Uh, a specific type of U-shaped graph. Um, this particular one is the parent function shifted down four units. That's what this minus four does. But again, uh, the, that minus four is not going to affect how we answer this question. It just kind of, it doesn't change the overall shape of the graph. It just, that was pretty bad. Uh, it, what it does do, though, is it moves it down four units. So this is going to be a pretty rough sketch but hopefully it kind of gets the point across. Uh, okay, that's, that's close enough. And then um, the natural log graph, so logarithmic graphs, they have this uh, vertical asymptote. Um, the values, the, the domain uh, for log graphs are gonna be uh, only positive numbers. You can't plug in a negative number here. Um, and what it is, it's basically like imagine an exponential graph, um, but flipped over the line y equals x. And so, Essentially, what you have is a graph that does something like this. Okay, it kind of comes up along the y-axis and then kind of curves this way. So you can see it kind of looks like an exponential graph that's been sort of rotated over and flipped. Um, and so, yeah, this is what uh, the natural log of x looks like. Okay, so the next thing to do is really to understand like what these three terms mean. And so let's define each of those. So increasing means the graph only goes up from left to right. Okay, in other words, the slope is positive for the entire graph. So notice here like the first graph goes down and then comes back up. The second graph goes down and then comes up. The third graph from left to right is always going up. It never comes back down. It sort of looks like it's leveling off, although it doesn't actually level off. It does continue to increase um, forever. So this is going to be our answer, okay, just to kind of lay it out there for you. We're going to say that the, natural, the graph of the natural log function is increasing on its domain. Um, but yeah, decreasing would mean that it goes down. Um, from left to right, and we do see on these first two graphs where like it goes down and then comes back up, so there's an interval where it's decreasing and then it starts increasing. Same thing for the quadratic, it's decreasing and then increasing. Um, but this particular question is, is asking for like which function is always doing one of these three things for the entire domain. So like this one changes from decreasing to increasing, this one goes from decreasing to increasing, this one's always increasing. Um, and then constant means it basically doesn't go up or down. So graph uh, stays horizontal. It just kind of goes straight across. 
Um, and none of these have any constant behavior, so that one really wouldn't make sense for any of these anyway. So anyway, um, we, we pretty much have our answer here, which is that the natural log function is going to be increasing on its domain. So yeah, you do need to know um, or have just at least a general idea of what these graphs look like and then understand what it means by increasing, decreasing, or constant. Although those terms are pretty intuitive. I mean, increasing it goes up, decreasing it goes down, constant it stays the same. It's just horizontal. Um, and you read the graph from left to right. So when I'm saying it's going up, I do mean from left to right. Uh, so that's it for number 79. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.